down, she pumps. Move out of the way, quick. My name is Never Chris, and this is my review for Django World Tour on the Nintendo Wii. Jenga is a game of skill in which players remove blocks from a tower and place them on top. It's traditionally played with small wooden blocks, but with the Nintendo Wii's ability to move objects around in a 3D space, Atari has created Jenga World Tour in hopes of capitalizing on the system's casual gaming crowd. Now then, let's take a look at how this game stacks up. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm going to say it right now. Traditional Jenga is not very good. It's a bit of fun for the first few times when you try, but the novelty wears thin as you have to restack and restack the unholy tower time and time again. This game was just a pain in the ass for something so simple. World Tour on the Nintendo Wii hopes to remedy this. Jenga World Tour simulates the wooden block game with a few amusing additions. Varying types of blocks such as stone and ice are now available, which inhibit varying physics along with the addition of theme stages and gimmicks to contend with. An honest effort, I suppose. Jenga World Tour is budget wear. Cheap ass budget wear. By and large, the media took a giant dookie all over this game and while it isn't memorable in the slightest, it is still playable. Well, kind of. You use the Wiimote to select the block you wish to pull out, steadily move your hand to slide it out, and then carefully move your hand within a small 3D space to select where you wish to place the block. This all definitely works, but it's a pain in the ass to do. It can also get very boring. Jenga's single redemption is that it hits that very sweet spot and that the game is so bad that it can actually be entertaining. As the blocks get higher, they start to wobble all around like a tower of cheese. The physics in this game are pretty amusing. The multiplayer can act as a decent catalyst for swearing and fun times between more worthy activities. You might even get a few enjoyable games out of this before coming utterly bored. In a more serious light, this game does not fit the bill. Playing against the computer AI is frustrating and a lot of the game is left up to random chance. Will the tower start to collapse as the game's turn turns over to your opponent? Will control of the game turn over to you just as it collapses? Will a stupid fucking dinosaur shake the earth in one of the game's theme stages completely ruining the game? Yeah, the best you can do in this one is just keep the game going and hope that something fucks up in your favor. Jenga World Tour's interface is pretty limited. There's the World Tour mode, which takes very little time to conquer, a free play mode where you get to play by yourself, and a versus mode. There's also a few unlockable mini games, but they're absolute shit and aren't even worth the time of day. At 30 bucks, I still wouldn't consider buying this game. I wouldn't even rent it. When this game does hit the $5 mark though in the bargain bin, I might recommend it then, just for something to make fun of. You might even enjoy it, like once. Whatever, I give this game a 4 out of 10.